Hello guys, Mr. Solution here. It's my pleasure to welcome you to today's episode. I'll be looking at how to use decentralized exchanges and our focus on today's video will be either, some call it IDES, okay? IDES.market, IDES.market, whichever one it is, just know that the spelling is I-D-E-X, okay? So whichever pronunciation you give to it, does it really matter? I don't think it does, okay? So please, um, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can equally follow me in any of my social media channels, my Instagram, my Twitter, or maybe you can link up with me. Maybe you need clarification on anything. You can chat me up on my WhatsApp. I'm always very active, 81 Okay. So firstly, I want you to understand that there is a difference between a decentralized exchange and a centralized exchange, okay? The difference majorly is on the part of who controls what. On a decentralized exchange, nobody controls your funds. You have full access to the funds, okay? There's nothing like this exchange was hacked and all the money you have there was taken and all that. It doesn't happen in this in decentralized exchange. But in centralized exchanges, it, it depends on the... You, the security of your funds depends on the management of such platforms. And we have such platforms like we have Binance.com, we have Bitres, we have Bitfinex, we have KuCoin, we have FTX. There are many of them. There are many. As a matter of fact, there are many, there are many centralized exchanges more than there are decentralized exchanges. Just know that when we say something is decentralized, nobody is controlling it controlling it you are the one in full that has the full access to it you are the one controlling it but decentralized exchanges have an um they have an a control something else is controlled somebody else a third party is in control okay so if the owner of a binance that's easy if he decides to maybe says he's not working again or that his platform is not working again or his programmers are not working again the exchange will full the platform will full but this is different from what is obtainable in decentralized exchanges. Okay, you have full 100% control, 100% autonomy on your accounts. Nothing happens to it unless you make a mistake of, let's say you you review your part by your secret phrases. Okay, you review, review your private keys to um, a third party or somebody that is not supposed to have access to it. If somebody gains access to your private keys or your mnemonic phrase, the person can easily hack, hack into your account and withdraw your funds, okay? So let's proceed. Let's visit um, this exchange. Remember, our focus here is eders.market, okay? So here is the URL. Please, I want you to know that this is not there is no dot com. The website is eders dot market. It's not eders dot com. There is no dot com. So if you are visiting any that has dot com, just know that you are on the wrong one. It could be a phishing site. It could be a phishing website. As a matter of fact, I think there is one they call eders dot com. That's that's not the right place to go. So don't make the mistake of putting your private key there. Because if you do that, it's a phishing website. They will just end up siphoning your funds and everything you have there will be taken away from okay so just be very careful it does not market and make sure that it's secure you can see view site information make sure it's highly secured with this key and um, this key symbol here that shows a high security level okay i love to i love my interface dark i i am a sucker for dark colors dark is my favorite color so i'm going to switch this to dark the background to dark okay so because i love it dark all right so now this is actually how the website is. This is you can just still scroll down to look at it. See the the other book, the transactions. This is the other book, the transactions. This is other book. Okay, you can see the acts. This is the acts. These are the acts orders, and then these are the bid orders. Okay, if you still scroll down, you can see the transactions that have occurred so far all right this is just the brief introduction now how do you access this website firstly if you already have an account you can log in or maybe you do not have an account you can actually go right ahead to create an account okay and then while while creating the accounts make sure that your the password you're choosing has this criteria make sure it meets this criteria here all these specified criteria make sure it, you are using at least one lowercase letter you're using at least one uppercase letter 
and make sure your password has at least one number. It could be one, two, three, four, whatever number. Okay, and then make sure that you have at least one special character. It could be hash, whatever special character it is you want to attach to it. Make sure your password has it. And then finally, make sure that it has a minimum of eight characters long, okay? So once you are sure that the password meet this criteria, just go right ahead and accept that this, um, accept that you're not a robot okay then sign up all right i already have an account here so i'm just gonna go right ahead to log into my account all right for security purposes, i'm gonna um i'm gonna stop this record okay i'm going to pause this recording then to continue later all right as a matter of fact i've actually logged into my account and think once one, one other thing i wanted to under know that is that once you register the account initially they will send you a confirmation email to your inbox that like, to confirm that you're registering that account so once you confirm it there is another dialogue box that will come that will tell you to verify your identity that's just the tier one identity verification there is nothing you're not uploading any pass passport or anything all you have to do just to key in your full name, put in your full name, your country, your name, your first and second name, and then your country of origin, that's all. So the essence mm -hmm. of doing that is just so that you can, they can in, increase your withdrawal limit. Okay, if you have done the tier one verification, you have, um, you are at liberty to withdraw like $5,000 in a day. Okay, that's just the essence of the tier one verification. Okay, so after you must have done that and then logged in, Okay, this is the next place you will come after you must have done your tier one verification and then after you must have logged in, this is the next place that will come. Now it doesn't end there, you can't just start trading. Okay, it doesn't end there. Remember, like I said, this is decentralized. So everything that is happening here, whatever it is that is happening to your account is solely of your own making. Okay, you, you are the one that has full access to it. You are the one that decides what happens. Okay. So, and then after that, you go to, here you can see new wallet, log, unlock wallet, new wallet, unlock wallet, okay. As a matter of fact, I already have an account here, so I could just go right ahead to unlock my wallet, right? But then um, I want to create a new wallet for those who are still new, who haven't really understood. But please don't just try doing anything funny because I'm not gonna be using this, uh, this I'm not gonna be using the wallet. I just want to create it for the purpose of this video for educational concerns, all right? So let's just go ahead. Hi, here they said I should put my password. I should just enter any password of my choice. So I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead to choose a password, right? Um, Okay, um, yeah, I've selected the password. I've entered a strong password of my choice. This password is used to encrypt your private key into a downloadable JSON file. Save this, we cannot recover or reset your password. Just know that if you, if you forget this password, there's no way they can recover it for you, okay? You can't get the password. Back. So I just go right ahead and say, yes, create wallet, right? So they've created the wallet for me. They've created the wallet for me. Now, the next thing is that I'm going to download my key store file. Actually, the essence of this key store file is just, let's say I want to log into this account next time and I'm asked to put my key, okay? I'm asked to put my key. I could just go right ahead and go to where I downloaded it, then upload it straight ahead. And then we proceed, and then I proceed to continue my transaction. I'm going to download my key store file, All right? Um, let's, let's be on my desktop. All right, so I've downloaded it. Then next is, remember, look at this question, please. It's very, it's very important that you read this. Read this very well. It say we cannot recover or recreate this file if lost. Okay, so that's why it's always good to put it in a very secure place. And then do not use this file on any other sites. Your phones can and will be stolen, okay? Can and will be stolen, okay? So now I go right ahead to say, got it. Create my private key right okay this is actually my private key and now the truth is that you're not meant nobody is meant to save this it's a private property nobody is meant to have access to it nobody is meant to know what is there all right nobody is meant to know but this is actually um a training video so like i said i wouldn't be doing anything with it after now okay so i just have to copy it note it and then and um, the next thing for me to do is to 
go back and then is to back go back to is maybe i want to go to back to my key store remember i downloaded it before now okay here is they said save your private key it cannot be recovered okay i have this private key is very very important you are you you are the only person that's supposed to know it nobody else is meant to know it all right so like i've said it before i'm still iterating it for so that the information will solidify you assimilate it proper it's not meant to it's just like telling giving somebody access to your bank account and then okay no not really your bank account your atm pin this is actually like your atm pin and anybody that has a atm card and the atm pin can always have access to your account this is your atm pin it's not meant to be visible visible to anybody i'm just broadcasting it because this is just um, a, a teaching class right so i would do it after now i'll discard it all right so i just go here and click on unlock wallets okay all right and then remember like i said after i must have um, done all those things the next thing now is for me to unlock my wallet now there are various options of unlocking my wallet maybe i could use my key store file remember i downloaded the key store file before now or i could use that my private key the private key the, those um those uh, alphanumeric uh, numbers i copied initially that i showed you guys that's my private key okay or maybe i could use software wallet, software wallets which could be Metamax or maybe Trust Wallet or Toshi Blue Wallet or even Mew. You can use your Mew Wallet, you can use your M Token Wallet, any of them can go. Okay, but now what we have is either key store. What I have currently is either key store or my private key. All right, so I'm going to go right ahead and use my private key. But let's say I want to use key store. Once I click on this key store now, I've selected the wallet, then it will now just carry, take me to where I can upload that key store I had already downloaded before now that I stored on my PC. All right, but I want to use private key, right? I've, I've chosen private key. Now I'm going, I'm, they said I should put it here. I had already copied it. Now this is actually my private key. Now, once I click on unlock, right? The wallet has been unlocked for me. All right, so you, you see the security, the security and um, procedures involved. This is to tell you that if you if your funds are stolen of somebody, maybe you log into your account and the funds you thought you had you couldn't see them. You just know that it is not the exchange. Either you had you be a, um, you lose guarded unquote. I don't know if there is any expression like that. Maybe you are not careful enough, or you visited a phishing site and then those information was taken from you, or somebody had access to your device and then maybe took your private key or your those your, your JSON file. Okay. So, because with it, like I said, it's like your HCM. Anybody that has it will have full access, all right? So you can see here, this is actually how the account is. Balances, there is nothing here. There is others. I do not have any current order trade. I have not carried out any trade. So if I want to know the trades I've carried, I just go right ahead, click on trade. They will show me the trades. Others, maybe there are some others. I have open other trade history and other balances, my balance and all that, okay? So you can now scroll down and then select you have zero tokens deposited i've not deposited anything here right so that's that's it and then the next thing i also want us to understand is that um okay these are this this is actually the market they have various market they have usdt to usdt oh before now there was nothing like this market they just came recently all right then what we used to have was ethereum basically it was and then just know that yes either is ethereum based is an is a, yeah is Ethereum ERC twenty wallet is ERC twenty exchange basically so all all tokens all coins listed on the on the Ethereum blockchain they are just the coins that can be traded on this exchange so security tokens and the rest of them are not tradable here all right so that's just one thing I want us to understand it's basically ERC twenty coins that you can trade there all right so. Now maybe you, you search for the coin you want to trade, like um, very soon um, that coin will be listed. So once that coin is listed, you want to trade, just come here and search your tax. There's nothing like that coin, that coin hasn't come here, okay? So that's it. And then you can still, maybe after you must have, let's say you want to trade DMG, is DMG, and then this chart comes here, you just do your analysis and all that and all that puts your limit order market order whichever one it is you want to transact with and then after you must have set it then your amount the price you want to buy the amount and then remember there is a fee you have to pay excuse me excuse me there's a and um, there's a fee you have to take 
pay both for when you are buying and when you're selling all right so this is just for this place is just for um, maybe there is a news or information and it is where you can always come to get news maybe listing partnership and all that and all that this is where and you can always have access to it then now you can see this is actually um the bid this is be this is the axe and the bid the others okay this is the axe those axe are those who want to buy okay bid are those who want to sell these are the sellers these are the buyers okay axe these are the various prices they want to buy it these are the various prices that sellers want to sell okay so the bid the bid the bid and the, the axe the axe and the bid the sellers and the buyers all right so if you still scroll down you see the other history okay you see the other history transactions that have occurred so far people that have bought people that have sold and all that and all that and then maybe you do not want to trade with yeah you don't want to trade there you can just use your api that's what they call api key api key will give you access to the trading funds here without visiting this visiting this exchange maybe there is a third party app you want to be using to be doing your trading just link up your api key with that very platform you want to do the trading on okay so i i am sure i've done justice to this all right i think there is something else i haven't touched okay now your 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 coin your tax coin actually the coin you're trading just know that it is not it is not current it's not going to be like you can't deposit it here you can't deposit the very coin you want to trade you cannot deposit it here okay so what you actually have to do is that immediately you log into your account and then that section or that place where they said you should put your okay let me just go back and then um okay let me just go to new wallet so that you understand what i'm talking about okay here now they said oh no, no, no i'm not supposed to go here i already have this account okay and let, let me just okay that place i put my here okay let me show you here um copy public address or wallet no 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 yes this is just my this is not what i want um that place oh, let me just log out all right and revisit it again you have successfully logged out of ides okay let me log in again i'm using my email or oh, i'm gonna post this for security reasons all right i just i just logged out and then logged in okay so i just want to show us how you can transact and transact with your tax coin all right so when it comes to this unlock wallet now remember there is creation of new wallets unlock wallet so when you click on this unlock wallet right now the the private key you're going to be open you are going to be inputting here will be the private key of that very wallet where your where your where your tax coin is stored okay the private key of that place where your tax coin is stored if it is um, if it is mu, that's um, my ether wallet. If it is, if it's the wallet where your touch coin is stored, you just have to put the private key. If it's in, if if the if it's in token, okay, you just have to put it here. Any wallet, any of the wallets where your touch coin is stored, that is, it's the private key of that wallet that you're going to be putting here. All right. So, um, since um, since this is actually for training purposes. I'm still going to put that very one I used before. Okay, I'm still going to put it and then unlock it. Remember, this is very private. Nobody should know it. So your the, the private key to the very wallet where your third coin is stored, nobody has to know it. It's a private property. Okay, so so once you put it, you unlock it. So if you now have that coin, there is another interface that should come here. Okay, when you go to your okay, when you go to your full balances okay when you go to your food balance yes i didn't touch any shot. so when you go to your food balances here now we now show you all the coins you have all the coins you have here all of it will come here okay all those coins you have will show here let's say you have that, that coin you can easily see it here all right you can easily see it here. so you can just go right ahead and then transfer it you can see withdraw transfer okay you can just transfer it you trans let's say i have um let's say i have first let me let me choose another i don't know the one that is first blood okay let's just say i have um i have ethereum i have ox btc here i want to trade it what i have to do just to i go to this transfer i transfer it from 
here to the maybe the place I wanted to get or I wanted to go to. Okay, F from this current wallet to maybe the place I just want to send it to. All right, so that is it for the transfer. Okay, so the query, the query just for you to know how far things are from there is really nothing. This one doesn't show us much things. Okay, so that is that for that so once you input that your private key everything all the everything in that your account we will definitely show here all the coins you have in that your account your third coin will show here okay your third coin will show here and then okay now i want you to understand that um there is this place that shows deposit okay let's just say you want to start trading you've already logged in your private key to these websites okay so you you've imported your wallet to this website and then you, you now want to start trading it you can't just start trading it just like that you have to deposit that coin you have let's just say i have um i have ablg okay there's nothing the deposit is not allowed all these ones that are gray all these ones that have grayed out you can't deposit them maybe the transactions have the 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 transactions have ceased is no more tradable there but these ones that are not great out they, they are the ones that you can still transact okay let me just say it's um is a first blood that i want to so what i have to do just to what amount do i want to send maybe i have like 20 20 000 first blood okay 20 000 first blood so what i will have to do is to um send it like i'm depositing i'm transferring it from that my wallet to this exchange please understand this thing very well okay after you must have imported your wallet what the next step to take is for you to move that your funds on that your wallet to the exchange where you can transact and this is actually the points we are in so you have to go to that remember go to deposit if you click on deposit then this phase will come out are you do you want to trade everything do you want to trade your whole that coin or maybe you want to trade a part of it so after you, you must have clicked on deposit. This is the right, the next phase that comes. Then click on this deposit, okay? And then you know that before you can do this, you have to pay some fees. There's actually um, a deposit, a transaction fee is 0 0.0004 for Ethereum, okay? And you can reduce it more if you wish. Maybe the way you can just reduce it to suit you very well. But just know that the higher the gray, the gray, this is gray. Actually, gray is the unit of, um, um, Ethereum. You remember the unit of um, Bitcoin is Satoshi, but the unit of Ethereum is Gwei. Gwei, G W E E I. That's that's the unit of um, Ethereum. Okay, so you'll be charged forty-one Gwei for this. Okay, so then after I must have selected the the gas fee I want to pay the gas fee. Did you record this in gas fee. Okay, and then just I go right ahead and click on deposit. But I can't. Okay, they say, are you sure you want to deposit? And 20,000 first minimum trade at 0 0.15 Ethereum for Maker and 0 0.04. So, actually, if you still want to trade, there's another thing here. Just make sure you have to make sure that you the 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 coin you want to trade, if you convert it to Ethereum, it should be up to 0 0.15 Ethereum. If it's not up to that, you cannot trade. Okay, so this is the minimum deposit. Just you know you can just say it's a minimum deposit. Okay, so this is just a minimum minimum deposit of that very coin the, the, the minimum ethereum the equivalence of the very coin you want to trade if it's not up to if you convert it to ethereum and it's not up to 0 0.15 you won't be allowed to deposit okay so maybe i just go right ahead and confirm insufficient first to place or i remember i do not have any face i do not have any coin here there's no money in this exchange okay so that i just did it for explanatory purposes for you to understand what i'm talking about and then like i said before you can transact anything, make sure you have some Ethereum. It could be one, it could be two dollars, three dollars. It's just for, for the gas fee or you to pay gas fee. Okay. So that's just all for that. So after you must have transferred it to the wallet, you can just go right here and then see balance history. Okay, this balance history here, deposit or withdrawal, the balance will come here. Then from that your balance, you can now decide to trade. Okay, you now just go to the to the markets okay go to the market where you can do your trades go to trade and then select the coin you want to trade by there you had already deposited it to the exchange so select it let's say i deposited i deposited first first blood 
first blood is it? it's funny the name of the coin is first blood it sounds ritualistic okay so i may, let's have deposited it and then i can come here and then do my transactions all right so i hope this video has been educative enough and you have really understood how to use the how to use decentralized exchanges ideas dot market there are there are equally many of them but since this is the very exchange that that coin is getting getting listed in i hope this video has actually been able to educate you and made you to understand how to use this very exchange would you have any question or maybe something you want me to address you can um, talk about it in my in the comment section and maybe you can reach me in any of my social media channels basically i'm very active on my um whatsapp you can just come there to ask for clarifications on any area you do not understand okay so thank you so much and please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next episode